This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. All right, this is a Thor News warning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the sun has been freaking out again. So I thought I'd show you some of the footage over the last week that we have seen from the stereo, the Sechi, and the Soho cameras. Um, I'm going to try an experiment since I'm at work. Uh, I'm going to try one taker. No editing, nothing. I'm just going to watch it. I'm going to talk about it. And then I'm going to be done. No editing. Okay? It's probably not going to be my greatest video of all time. So bear with me. Turn the sound down or whatever the visuals are worth it. Okay? One, two, three, action. All right, we're looking at the stereo behind Core 2 camera. That's a pretty big coronal mass ejection, I would say. And then there's more pretty big coronal mass ejection. Now I want to remind you that it's the little circle in the middle, not the big circle that is the actual sun. Wow, that is, that is big. That's what she said. Whoa, that's a lot of light. What is that? It almost looks like solid. Why did it? Take up the occulting disc. Booyah! Pum, 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 pow. Man, how do they know that the sun is uniform in its use of hydrogen? Meaning that, like, the sun, like your car, even your car varies in the gasoline it uses. Ooh, that's brat. Unlike me. Uh. Red sun? Red giant? No, that's a yellow star. They just got a red filter. Now, this is distressing. For two days now, they've had half of the sun covered up. Half of the sun is black. Uh, and then, once again, we have a shot of stereo. See, half that has been cut out for two days, which is interesting, don't you think? We have had a few solar flares the last few days. Most of them have been M-Class. What is that weird little thing? I do not know. Man, I have a feeling this video is not going to be very good. Hey, there's a cross. Hello. Cross to the sun. And this is my artistic filter that I put on. One of my many special filters. And we got a lot of dots there. Everybody loves dots. I guess those are more squares. Dots are round. Hey, we're looking at stereo behind core two. And see how the sun has like a giant lighter it's like the sun is a giant Bic lighter, and, and it's trying to light somebody's cigarette, and I guess it got frustrated, so it threw a giant pelican-shaped fireball at the cigarette. Or maybe it's like everybody else is like, I hate smoke, why do you smoke? And then I'm like, hey, because I'm a dragon? Wow, look at that, see? Are those meteors charged protons? That was on the first. And I'm wondering, I wonder what that was. It was probably just charged swamp gas. Boom. I mean, the sun has been releasing a lot of energy. And at this point, I'm totally convinced that the solar flare system, you know, like C class, M class, X class, that is way oversimplification. Like, the other day, they NASA put out a video saying that in, I think, 2012, they had a solar flare that was bigger than the Carrington event, which I think Carrington was like an X-Class 32 or something. And this was only like an X-Class 1, but they said this had more power than the Carrington event that lit telephone poles on fire. And so, I mean, they, they almost even admit, wow, did you see that bullet? And that's some crazy crap, man. And once again, just got that weird tail of stun sticking out. But it's like they basically admitted that, yeah, it's oversimplification, because how could like an X1 flare be more powerful than an X-Class 32? You know, I mean, science, we're not dumb. We got smartphones, man. You don't have to oversimplify everything for us. Okay, and here what I've done is I've taken my color filter and then I inverted it. Because that was inverted. I only do that because I, I like to Top Gun. You know? Um, so that way I get to say inverted. And here we show the sun is 
microorganisms. Ooh, pretty. Look at all those diamonds. When the sun goes supernova and turns into a diamond, that'll, that's what it'll look like. That one vampire kid from Twilight. And everybody loves Twilight. Said no one ever. Oh, man. Ooh, look at the bottom right one, man. That is a crazy looking, what the hell was that? Here we go. It looks like a minimal, maximal, totally snafu bar, solar maximum. Double peach for sure. I like this shot right here. That's one of my favorite shots, man. It's pretty. You can see a lot of action. You can see everything going on in the solar system. Mercury's like, hey, wee hoo, I'm having fun. And there we have our asteroids charged swamp gas photo again from the first. I wonder when Earth is coming around. Like, uh, you know. Whoa. Man, Mercury's fast. This is what I think just for the next five minutes of this video, I'm just going to say, Mercury's fast. Hey, look, Mercury's fast. No, I wouldn't do that to you. Ooh, man, that sun is active. Activo. Did you know that's the Spanish word for active? It's activo. I think activo is actually a verb saying I'm active. Look at that thing. The thing is like going nutty. The sun is about to give birth to a baby. I think Jason Major from the universe today said the sun is about to give birth to a dragon. This is a cool shot. Look at Mercury coming around the mountain when she comes. You know, if the sun were a mountain, I know that it's made of plasma and stuff. Science and stuff. And what is that? See that right there? It's like that BP planet flew by in the sun or whatever. You know, if we find out that that planet thing is real, I definitely think we should name it BP. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, you gotta wonder how on earth can the sun maintain putting out that much energy again and again and again? And I don't remember there being this many filaments at all times. Do you? Have you been a filament watcher? I'm a filament watcher. I'm a filament watcher. So yeah, I mean, the sun is continuing to uh, be very moody, shall we say. And, you know, over the last year, it has shot out a ton of projectiles, it seems. And then if you imagine the sun in the middle, you know, it's like... You know, that's a lot. Like, if the sun is flying, are those its jets? Is it steering with its jets? Is another star stripping helium or hydrogen from it? Like they always talk about neutron stars or black widow stars do. I don't know. Do you know? I assume 90% of you turn the volume down. I can definitely feel it in my bones. This is my worst video ever. As far as narrative goes, the pictures are still pretty good. Definitely worth it. I mean, this is pretty mind blowing. I mean, it's a tiny little sun. Okay, I guess we've made it past all the good footage. Now we're going to the galaxy. Will our sun explode? I don't know, man. Maybe. Eventually. Sure, yeah. I think we're good for a little while. I think most of the fear mongering, or the actual real fear and doom, exists in human beings. They're way more liable to kill you than anything in the universe, I think. Universe loves you. Universe loves you more than you know. Man, it's cool that when a star blows all of its crap off, it's still glowing and going. You know what I'm saying? I wonder what it'd be like. I wonder if we could live through a supernova. I bet I could. So, you should date me, gorgeous. Because together, if we combined our loves, we could live through a supernova. Be that much more awesome. Okay, now that's the funny part. I don't always drink beer. Crap, that was fast. Failure. DVD rewinder. That's funny. Seriously, Nintendo. This never happens. Why are you pretending this happens? Epic block. Seriously, you need to go back and stop on that. That is hilarious. <laughs> Stevie Wonder, if I could play video games, you bet it would be Atari. 
No, seriously, it's for science. Please believe us. What Jon Snow actually said, if the wildlings breach the wall, they'll rule over everything and everyone. Or <gasps> cougar on the prowl. <laughs> Life is too important to be taken seriously. And okay, guys, please forgive me for this video. Reading Rambo. But the whole video is worth it because of that. It's a slow day in Hoth. We got a tornado on in here. You're going to be mad like, oh my god, that was a horrible, horrible video. I'm going to be in the middle of a tornado having lettuce chunks flying through my brain at like 700 miles per hour. Be dying lettuce injection to the brain. There you go. There was a 0.3 lunar distance asteroid that missed us yesterday. And once again, the 1940s footage we always get from the stereo behind H1. All right, that wraps up this 10-minute super horrible lousy video. But the images are great, so hopefully you'll give me a tie. Thanks a lot. God bless everyone. And uh, keep your eyes to the skies. And remember what science says. Sun has no effect on the climate. Only human beings and dogs do. Okay, great. Peace out.